I've had various people uh, have to guess what, what it is. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, different colours of fibres here. There's some some black stuff, some uh, oh, some quite nice white stuff there as well. It uh, <coughs> has a particular odour associated with it. I'm afraid we can't we can't uh, share the the odour with you on uh, on film, uh, which which is a big clue that it's uh, an animal fibre. Okay, so we've been looking at a bag of yak wool and yak down that's come to me all the way from Tajikistan sent to me by a charity called Operation Mercy and they're working with yak herders there to try and turn this stuff into some sort of useful product. Um, the, the herders are very resourceful and they use every part of the yak for either food or making uh, sort of uh, bits out of the tusks and uh, horns or, or whatever bits of the yak. Um, but the coat tends to go to waste because it's very hard to pick out the fibres so it tends just to be left to rot uh, in the fields and on the, the mountain sides there. And there's all kinds of, uh, oh, I, better, I better wash my hands after this, all kinds of muck and uh, bits of vegetation attached with it as well. So uh, the idea is to try and turn this into some useful product, turn it into a wool and then weave it into, well, goodness knows what, really, scarves or coats or jumpers, uh, a bit like cashmere. Um, but this is going to be called yakmere. So, so there's, there's two very different sorts of fibres in here. There's uh, some very soft and fluffy ones. Uh, yeah, some soft, fluffy stuff. And then there's some kind of longer, nice curly fibres. And uh, There is a bit of commercial production around already, but uh, separating the fibres is the real difficult bit. And that tends to be done on an industrial scale. So my job is to come up with a sort of cottage scale way of separating the fibres that doesn't involve the laborious picking them out individually by hand. It fits into to my vision as, uh, of uh, what the university should be about and, and the university has, has uh, got more to it than purely sort of making money for, for big industry, uh, uh, big companies in the UK. It's about uh, finding sustainable solutions to problems worldwide. So uh, this is a good uh, opportunity to look at turning a waste product into something useful, so it's sustainable, uh, it's uh, income generating for a group of people that uh, could desperately need with uh, some more funds. I've got many weird and strange yes, things in my office. Uh, okay, so I've got some, um, oh, here we go. These don't smell at all, which is uh, reassuring. These are sawdust compacted into briquettes for burning, um, so uh, we're looking at uh, turning sawdust into uh, fuel. Uh, I like recycled things, so here's, here's one of my favourite recycled things. This is a, an angel made out of a Coke can, which is nice and ironic on a number of levels, made by a group in South Africa. So, a little table made out of cardboard, uh, which I should be able to, it's, uh, it should take my weight actually. Well, I was interested in um, looking at uh, sort of low-cost manufacture of uh, furniture, so I had a, a student project looking at that. Um, also, turning uh, cardboard into um, uh, a more sustainable, uh, a more uh, giving it more long life as well. I'm trying to find out where I've got that. So this is some cardboard uh, mixed with some uh, resin. At the moment, it's it's polyester resin, which isn't very environmentally friendly, but we're looking at uh, using natural resins as well. Um, so I've got some uh, resin coming over from Ethiopia actually, some uh, epoxy resin that uh, literally grows on trees uh, and we're going to try and use that to uh, combine with cardboard and other things. Um, so we're looking at all kinds of different materials. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, I like the texture of it as well and I'd like to make furniture with this. You could imagine going into a company and seeing their boardroom with a table made out of uh, the Financial Times or last year's company report all kind of scrunched up. That's um, a good idea. Yeah, this, this, is, a, this is a nice um, sort of aesthetic material as well. Uh, this was made out of uh, used £50 banknotes, uh, so that were uh, end-of-life banknotes used by the Bank of England. There's a, a real issue on disposing of them because they've got... Uh, you can't really just compost them because they've got metals in as well and they've got all sorts of contaminants that have been picked up from the, the life of the banknote that you're not quite sure where they've been or what they've been used uh, for. So uh, we thought we could turn it into a material um, uh, 
and I quite like the surface finish of that as well. So we might have, you know, stuff made out of yak fibres, we might have uh, aeroplanes made out of yak fibres, you never know. Aeroplanes made out of yak Yeah, fibers. flying yak, I like that idea, you know. Or, uh, yeah, turn them into something useful. <laughs>